Wow, praise the name of the Lord. Praise Jesus. I'm by name H.P. Williams, and I'm glad to share with you this morning. I would like to welcome you all that are watching us live on Facebook. That is Call for Leadership, and also H.P. Williams, and those that are watching us on our YouTube, uh, which is Reverend H.P. Williams. I welcome you all. Today is a special day, and I know that the Lord is good. Remember, this is the call, the call to life. The Bible tells us in John chapter 10, verses 10, I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. In John chapter 1, verses 12, he also told us that as many as believed in him, he gave them power to become sons and daughters of God even those that believed. In other words, if you receive him, you have the ability to become, to become the child of God, to become the son of God. If you believe in him, you also have the ability to transform your life from that which is ordinary to something that is super ordinary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus said, the reason why I'm here is that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So he wants you to live. He wants you to enjoy life. He wants you to live the fullest of what God has purposed for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And listen, child of God, God doesn't just want you to live, but everything that concerns you, he wants it to live. That's why the Bible says, I'll perfect that which concerns you. Anything that concerns you, your family, your business, your children, your wife, your husband, anything that concerns you, God is in the business of perfecting it into the fullness of life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I may be talking to someone who has been uh, crunched. You know, you've come to the end of everything. It's like life is no more. It's like nothing is joy in this life anymore. But I want to tell you, child of God, that it is not time for you to give up. It is not time for you to let the devil have victory over your life. Why? Because if your mouth is still open, then you have a chance to transform your situation into a testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says Paul and Silas were in prison. Everything around them, with them, in them, was locked in the prison. There are so many prisons around there, financial prison, marital prison, you know, relationship prisons, things that have kept us into lockdowns. But I'm here to tell you, child of God, as long as Paul and Silas, their mouth was open, things changed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says they began giving praise to the Lord. They began worshiping the Lord. They began lifting up the name of the Lord. Their hands, their feet were chained. Listen. Anything that caught resources was chained. Anything that could take them where resources are was chained. Their localities was locked down. But the Bible said their mouth could still speak. Their mouth could still recognize that there is a God above their situation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as they began to praise the Lord, the Bible said, that the chains on their hands broke, the chains on their feet broke, the, the door of the prisons, they, they opened and the foundations of the prisons were shaken. This morning, something is going to shake where you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever prison you're in, it is going to let you go in Jesus' name. But listen, child of God, even when the prisons were open, they still had a chance for them to walk out it was their choice. Glory to God. No one had to make that choice. So today I want you to make a choice to walk out. I want you to make a decision that I'm not going to stay in this condition. I'm not going to stay in this problem. I'm not going to stay with this problem anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I transit my life from a life of problem to a life of godliness in the mighty name of Jesus. There is faith and you can activate it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going to read you two scriptures and I want us to pray in Jesus' name. We have a few hours, uh, a few minutes, and I want us to use them in prayer. 
Today, we are talking about prayer. Glory to Jesus. And the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verses 7, I'm reading from New King James. This is what the Bible says. It says, For what great nation is there that has God so near to it? Hallelujah. Remember the scripture, uh, uh, the Bible calls us a nation. Glory to God. We are a nation. We are a peculiar nation. We are a chosen people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 7, it says, uh, For what great nation is there that has God so near to it? Hallelujah. It says, Is there a great nation that has God so near to it like our God? Hallelujah. Uh, as the Lord, our God, is to us. Glory to Jesus. It's a question that is being posed by Moses. And he says, is there a great nation? Is there a great people? Is there a people that they are so great that their God is so near, like God is near to us? Glory to God. Now, listen, this statement is made in the dispensation where God could only be near to them. Glory to God. But according to the dispensation we are in, God is not just near to you. God is in you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2 verse 13, it says it is God in you that works both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. There is a God trapped inside you. And that is the God that I want us to release this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The God who changes situation. The God who changes seasons. The God who makes life new in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that whoever is in this God, everything about them is new. The old is passed away. Behold, all things become new. Why? Because in this God, your history, it is his story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever was about you before changes and it turns into his story. That his story is a story of victory, is a story of life, is a story of a mighty conqueror, is a story of a mighty vara, is a story that puts you in glory and honor, is a story that gets you from the rats of this world and brings you to a destiny that is full of glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the Bible tells us in Psalms 87 verse 3, it says glorious things are spoken about you. Why? Because you are a city of God. God inhabits you. God God dwells in you. You are gloriously spoken of. Why? Because there is something trapped inside you that everyone wants to see. Glory to Jesus. So the Bible tells us in Deuteronomy, is there a great nation that God is so near to them? Like God is so near to us. Like God is inside of us. Glory to God. And he says, uh, uh, the scripture continues, we are in Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 7. The scripture continues to say, For whatever, uh, as the Lord our God is to us, for whatever reason we may call upon him. Glory to Jesus. I love King James. It says, for is in everything, is in everything we call upon him. For. Hallelujah. Is in everything. Glory to God. Moses recognizes that this God that is so near can also be in everything that he calls upon him. Glory to Jesus. When you call on God, he can be in your family. He can be over your children. He can be over your relationship. He can be over that marriage you're in right now in the mighty name of Jesus. When we call him right now as um. Uh, the scripture tells us, call me and I will show you great and mighty things that are not yet to come. In other words, when you call him, he inhabits wherever you call him upon. Glory to Jesus. So this morning, I want us to call upon God in everything. 
Hallelujah. Because when we call him in everything, whatever we call him is always in that thing. You can call him into your family. You can call him into your children. You can call him into that marriage that is not working. You can call him into that relationship that has given you a headache. You can call him into that business that seems like draining every other day. Yet the Bible says that the path of a righteous man shines brighter and brighter and brighter to the dawning of the day. Your life is supposed to be shining. Your life is supposed to be moving from one glory to another level of glory. Why? Because it is by grace that God is in everything we call him for. Glory to Jesus. So this morning as we call on God, oh my, I want us to recognize that God is not just near us. God is inside of us. Trapped in every believer is God inside them. Is such an excellency. Is such greatness as First John chapter 4 verses 4 puts it. It says greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world outside there. Yes, whatever is trapped inside you is so much great considered or compared to what is outside you in Jesus name. So I want you to look inside this morning and I want you to release that which is inside you. I want you to make God become a reality in your physicality in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to look at your situation as nothing and acknowledge God as great over your situation. In Jesus' name. The Bible says that the disciples one day, they are on the sea and there is a storm on the sea. And they are crying, they are murmuring. And Jesus came walking on the very sea with the very storm. Yet the storm was there and it could not disturb him. It could not stop him. It could not hinder him. Listen, child of God, whatever storm you're in, the Jesus in you, the God in you can walk over that storm without taking it away. Hallelujah. Jesus didn't take the storm away. Jesus didn't take the situation away. Jesus didn't take the disease away. But he made sure you walk over the disease. Hallelujah. He made sure that that condition cannot affect your progress. It cannot stop your increase. It cannot stop you from achieving the desires of your life. This morning, I want us to pray as we acknowledge that the God in us is above all situations around us. Glory to God. It doesn't matter, child of God, who said what, what report is written over you. They may say you have cancer. They may say you are dying of HIV. They may say whatever is in your body is not working for you, for your good. But I'm here to say that the God in you, hallelujah, the God in you is greater than the situation you're in, is greater than the condition you're in, is greater than that prison your family is in, is greater than that problem, that challenge in your house you're in. Yes, the God in you is greater than whatever you're going through right now in Jesus' name. So I want us to acknowledge that whatever is inside of us is God. Oh, paraza. Makato shadabarado. This morning chains are breaking. This morning prisons are opening. This morning marriages are being mended in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the Bible says that I'll perfect that which concerns you. Whatever concerns you child of God, God is going to perfect it in Jesus name. All you have to do is to set your mind on him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible tells us, is there a great nation like us? Is there a great people like us that God is so near to them like our God is? And is in everything, is in everything, is in everything we call him upon. Hallelujah. He's in your family if you call him in your family. 
He's in your children if you call him in your children. He's in your business if you call him in your business. He's in your finances if you call him in your finances. He's in everything, everything. Hallelujah. Someone is listening to me. And your day of freedom is now. Your day of freedom is now. Today you're saying bye-bye to that prison. Today you're saying bye-bye to that situation. Today you're saying bye-bye to that addiction. Today you're saying bye-bye to that disease. Today you're saying bye-bye to that financial uh, uh, problem that you've been facing. Debts, debts everywhere. You're saying bye-bye to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because there is someone great inside you that is able to transform your life for goodness. Hallelujah. Let me read you another scripture that is in Lamentation and chapter is chapter 5 and I'll read verses 6, um, uh, verses 14. Verses 14. The Bible say, the elders, Lamentation chapter 5 and verses 14. The Bible say, the elders have ceased gathering at the gate. In the old days, the parliament was always at the gate. When they wanted to issue new uh, rules and regulations to govern at the city, they always had a tent meeting at the gate. As elders, they sat there to negotiate, to see how better the city can live. Glory to Jesus. That was one way. But also at the gate, there was a man who was called a watchman. He was an elderly man who watched everything that entered into the city and went out of that city. He was always there monitoring. The Bible say that you have power. According to Matthew 16, it says you have power that whatever you allow on earth shall be allowed in heaven. Whatever you say no on earth, even heaven says no to it. That power resides inside you. Hallelujah. And this power, in the old days, it was always demonstrated at the gate. Glory to God. At the gate, there was a watchman to watch over the situations that are happening in the gate, but also outside the gate. That's what the Bible calls us watchmen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This morning, I want to restore you to your position to watch over your family, to watch over your children, to watch over the people that God has entrusted in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your relationship is under your watch. Yes, your marriage is under your watch. Your health, God has put it under your watch. And you are the man at the gate. You are the woman at the gate. God wants you to position yourself. Oh, Lanika, Parado, Zendo Parada. But according to the scripture, he says, the elders have ceased. They have ceased from gathering at the gate. They no longer gather at the prayer meeting. They no longer gather at the tent so that they can discuss the best of their families, the best of their children, the best of their generation, and the generations that are in their generations in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, there are generations attached to you. You are not just in your generation. No, your children are in their generation, but they are attached to your generation. And their children are in their generation, but they are attached in your children is children is generation. They are all attached in you. They are destinies, futures that are in you. So what you have to do is to return to the gates. Koparade. Zusta Kaparada. I want us to begin praying in the next uh, five minutes. Kompranande. Zikatayalabokshalabai. I want us to talk to God. Let us release him in everything that is concerned us. Hallelujah. 
Let us release him in our marriages this morning. Let us release him in our families this morning. Let us make God become a reality in the name of Jesus Christ. It is possible, child of God. Those that are in our midst, let us stop everything that we are doing. Let's just talk to God in the next five minutes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Marco, you can stand up on your feet. Lato shakata yalabo zagade, wana makonza kori ya balaso so kumbre de kari ya baba. Li esu se kato pralande, makle genzo fred de kari ya baba. Wana masuste kori ya mama, li palando ya duste kari ya mashie. Wana makonza kari ya. Just talk to God, speak in other tongues, child of God. Just talk to Him. He is in everything that you call Him for. He is in your marriage right now, making things right. Yes, rearrange arranging things right in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Many of us are giving up on the very position, on the very post that God has put us. This COVID brought a lot of challenges in our marriages, in our relationship. But I'm here to say, child of God, this morning, whatever challenge you've been through, it is possible. God can change it. God can translate it into a testimony. God can translate it into a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just open your mouth and talk to God. Lamando shakaya, li parado sekato, li esus te koria mama, maple gando shanamakaya, lobo sus te koria baba, lava sus te cantombre de karia balande, in a mako shataye karia baba. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10 is God is our salvation. It says whoever calls on God's name shall be saved. This morning, may you declare your salvation. May you declare the salvation of your marriage. May you declare the salvation of your business. May you declare the salvation of your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We release it now in the mighty name of Jesus. God is making things right, right now in Jesus' name. Lamando shakataya, liesuse kopalande, lamando shayakaria balando. My father, my father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I call upon you into the families of the world in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, that whatever the situation is, may you make it right for the glory of your name, oh God. May you restore that family. May you restore the children of that family. May you restore the man in that family. May you restore the woman in that family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh God whatever that devil intended for evil my God we must Fratayaka. We turn it for the good in the mighty name of Jesus. We trace the hand of God and make glory out of the dead situation. Manto Balando Suze. The devil will not have an upper hand of our family. The devil will not have an upper hand of our children. The devil will not have an upper hand of our relationship in a mighty name of Jesus, oh God. You won't quit, child of God. You won't give up, child of God. Why? The God in you is greater than the situation you're in. The God in you is more powerful than the situation you're in. The God in you is more, more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, we make a declaration over your family. We declare freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare freedom all over your life from the crown of your head to the sole of your body to the sole of your feet I decree and declare be free child of God be free from that cancer be free from that disease be free from that condition be free from that blood disease in the name of Jesus Christ oh God I release healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare your freedom is now your peace is now your 
your healing is now in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty Father, we release a supernatural hand of God over all the darkness that has been invading our family, that has been invading our relationship in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we release a supernatural light in the name of Jesus. The light of Christ, the light of God, the light of God in the mighty name of Jesus. May it invade your darkness. May it invade the darkness in your family in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Mighty Father, we give praise and honor. We thank you for this morning, oh God. Konjana makalato. Resuste kanton brede high. La suse kopara. Lie zunde kapara gozata. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon God upon everyone that is listening me, listening to me right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, may God invade their life with glory and honor. May God invade their family with glory and honor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I make a declaration this morning that freedom has come, salvation has come, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your borders shall be called salvation. Yes, your dwelling shall be called peace. I decree and declare that from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed in Jesus' name. Whatever condition the doctors diagnosed in your body, we nullify it now. We call it null and void in the name of Jesus Christ. I release divine healing. I release divine healing. I release divine healing in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of God. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Behold, in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that marriage that has been falling in parts, that has been falling in parts. I decree and declare, let there be peace in that marriage. Let there be unity in that marriage. I bring you back together. As the Bible says, whatever God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You who stood in between them as a confuser, as a destroyer, I destroy you by the finger of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare under your, under my voice, whoever is listening, in the name of Jesus Christ, that spell of witchcraft shall not destroy what you've been working for, for the rest of your life. It shall not destroy your future. It shall not destroy your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire to consume every plan of the enemy, every conspiracy of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare your freedom in Jesus' name. Your freedom from the powers of witchcraft, from the forces of darkness. Yes, in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone tormented by nightmares. I decree and declare that what Whatever wanted to steal your 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 destiny from the nightmares you you've been encountering, series of them, I decree and declare freedom in Jesus' name, freedom from that demonic oppression in the name of Jesus Christ. May your dream be lined in the will of God and in the word of God in Jesus' name. You shall see your future more clear and much better in Jesus' name. I decree and declare the peace of God, the peace of God over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, precious Father. We give you the glory. You deserve the glory. O Paradi. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Father, we thank you for that testimony. Oh, it is happening. Right now, child of God, there is freedom. The prison bars are broken. The foundations of evil that have been holding you captive have been shook by the power of God. Right now, you're being set free. You're being set free. So I want you to make a decision to walk out. Make a decision to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When Paul and Silas 
began to talk to God. The Bible said the prisons were broken, were open, and they had to make a decision to go out or to stay. The decision to move out is yours. Get out of that bed, sick bed you're in right now. Begin exercising yourself. Begin exercising your faith. Begin exercising the word of God. It is possible and it is working right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you've never given your life to Jesus, this is the opportunity, child of God, to give your life to Jesus. Listen, there is no tomorrow. There is no another day. There is no, let me prepare in the next week. Things may happen right now, in the next few minutes, in the next few hours. So live in preparation. Make the decision to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior right now. If you've never given your life to Jesus, I want to pray with you. Just put your right hand in your chest and repeat these words with me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, I believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sin and for my sake. And he was risen again for my justification. Forgive my sins, Father. Wash me in his precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. Today, I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that I am born again. Today, I am born again. Thank you, Father, for accepting me in Jesus' name. If you've made this prayer, why don't you talk to us? We are waiting for that call. We are waiting for that message. If you're far from us, we are located here in Nakuru, Kenya. But if you're far from us, we can still direct you to which church you can go to. A church where they will teach you faith. They will teach you the word of God. And you will walk in the will of God. Child of God, you are blessed. Remember, this is the call. May God richly bless you in Jesus' name.